I am standing in our basement. And it's, uh, it's impressive. So, the walls feel super tall right now because we still have the sanitary lines to put in and bring it up a little bit. And then the insulation and then the concrete. So it'll come up another 18 inches or so, but we plan on having 19 or a nine foot ceilings down here. So even though it's in a basement, it won't feel like a basement with, uh, with the tall ceilings. So at this point, I'm gonna turn around and let you guys see the work of, the, uh, of our guys taking down all the bracing. I'm going to take a little bit of time here and we're going to uh, dive a little bit more into the actual um, ICF block that we are using. The brand that we're using is called Fox Block, F-O-X, Fox Block. And so I'll go through in a little more detail now um, that we had the walls up and I can show you a, a few more um, of the examples. So as you can see, this is... This is one that's been cut, so it'll be considered trash unless they need it, maybe a small piece or somewhere. But the end of the block has a key here and an opposite key, and then it is the opposite here, so it's out and then in and out and in. And so the next block that goes against it will key into these pieces here so that they don't shift. And then up on top, is the same thing, an out and an in. I can show you there that how it sticks up, just like Legos. And this is the tray where the rebar sits. So these plastic pieces fit in here. Let's see if I can hold this correctly. Here, and they go into about halfway. You can kind of see the edge of it. Let me scratch this off and you can see the actual piece right there and so it makes uh, it makes like an eye and so what it allows you to do is that lines up with their name and so that allows you to screw in to that section and that holds a tremendous amount of weight right into that plastic that's embedded in that styrofoam so when you stack the blocks you can see that runs continuously all the way up and down the wall. So if you look here where it says, go over in the sunshine a little bit, where it says the fox block. So there's one there and there's one there and they run parallel up and down. And that's what you can hook drywall onto or for the purposes of our bracing, you can actually screw and put your braces into it as well. So this was the section right here, which is called a stack joint, and I'm going to scoot back in the stack joint is the common joint that runs right up the middle of it, and so that allows when you have this wall here and this wall here, you can either squeeze them in or spread them apart a little bit depending to make sure that this wall is straight and this wall is straight. And then once you get that set, you can put some spray foam in here, because that's uh, about a quarter of an inch. And so you put the spray foam in there. They'll put the, that OSB that you saw, they put that over to keep it from running out. And then these pieces, when you're done, you just come up here and you just pull that off. And so you come by there and you'll smooth that off. And then the drywall will go right, the drywall will just go right against that. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the actual footer that I was telling you. So, the brand for this is called Fast Foot, and it's the bag system that runs the length of it. And this is the bag system I was telling you about. And that is concrete that is all set up. And that is our footer that has been poured, making the monolithic pour for the wall. And of course, it goes all the way around, and that's what everything sits on. I'll do a little bit of a drive by here so you can see how nice and straight this wall is. I walked by it just a while ago. It's like that's impressive. So, here we go. Let's see if I can get down a little bit lower here.
Well, that's about it for today's episode. The rest of the day is going to consist of them removing all the rest of the bracing, cleaning up, picking up all the nails and screws, and um, stacking all the wood, and get ready for the next section. And that section will be the basement floor. So, in the basement floor, they're going to need to bring in, we'll have to set our sanitary sewer line and have all the pop-ups, or well, they're called stub-ups, for the shower drain and the toilet and the sinks and maybe a vent pipe that will have to go up or the pipe that will have to catch the upstairs for the toilet upstairs and things of that nature. After that, they're going to bring in some crushed gravel to bring up the elevation of uh, around the footer and then on top of that we will put rigid insulation so the actual basement floor will also be insulated so that we don't have any heat loss into the ground. In after that we'll bring in the wire mesh lay it out and then they will connect the radiant floor tubing which is a PEX tubing and after that comes concrete. So, join us in the next few episodes for the basement slab. Talk to you guys soon.